the photography world is currently caught in a strange electric tension. It is the beginning of 2026, and while we have seen a flurry of activity from the major players, there is one ghost in the machine that continues to haunt every forum, every camera store counter, and every landscape photographer's dreams. The Nikon Z73. For years, this camera has been the industry's greatest unicorn, a mythical beast that everyone believes in, but no one has quite caught on film. While Nikon has been busy winning hearts with the Retrocool ZF and the powerhouse Z8, the Z7 series has sat in a quiet, almost meditative state. However, the silence from Nikon HQ hasn't been a sign of abandonment. Let's know every new detail about the rumored Nikon Z7 III. The secret move at the heart of the Nikon Z7 III rumors centers on a revolutionary approach to sensor technology that could bridge the gap between traditional image quality and modern speed. While many expected Nikon to simply recycle the 45.7 megapixel sensor found in the Z8 and Z9, recent leaks suggest something far more ambitious. There is persistent talk of a partially stacked sensor architecture. This is a brilliant middle ground engineering feat that offers significantly faster readout speeds than traditional BSI sensors, virtually eliminating the rolling shutter issues that plagued the Z7 II. Without the astronomical manufacturing costs associated with a fully stacked sensor, this allows Nikon to keep the price competitive while giving photographers a sensor that feels alive and responsive. Even more tantalizing are the reports from supply chain insiders suggesting that Nikon has been testing prototypes with a staggering 67 megapixel sensor, potentially sourced through an expanded partnership with Tower Semiconductor. Such a resolution jump would catapult the Z73 into a league of its own, providing enough detail to rival medium format systems while maintaining the agility of a 35 millimeter body. But resolution is only half the story. The true secret move might be the inclusion of a refined mechanical shutter, a feature that Nikon notably omitted from the Z8 and Z9. By keeping the mechanical shutter, Nikon is signaling to the professional studio and flash sync community that the Z7 III is their ultimate tool. This allows for a level of tactile feedback and specialized flash performance that purely electronic systems can sometimes struggle with. Furthermore, the Nikon Z7 III is expected to inherit the legendary Xpeed 7 processor, which acts as the brain for Nikon's most advanced AI-driven autofocus algorithms. Imagine the Z7 III having the same stickiness and subject recognition for birds, planes, and eyes as the Z9, but packaged in the sleek, ergonomic body of the Z6 III. This would include the much-anticipated 5.76 million dot EVF, which finally addresses the blackout frustrations of previous models. Add in a four-axis tilting LCD, the same one that makes the Z8 so versatile for low-angle shots, and you have a device that feels less like a gadget and more like a precision-engineered extension of the photographer's own eye. The arrival of the Z7 III would send a massive shockwave through a landscape currently dominated by the Sony A7R5, and the Canon EOS R5 Mark II. For a while, Sony has had a bit of a zoo approach, offering a camera for every conceivable niche, with the A7R5 standing as the undisputed king of pixels at 61 megapixels. Canon, meanwhile, has focused on the hybrid do-it-all crowd with the R5 line. Nikon's secret move is designed to hit the sweet spot right between these two giants. By pricing the ZI7 III in the $2,800 to $3,200 range, Nikon would effectively undercut the Sony A7R5 while offering a newer, more modern processing engine. Sony's A7R series is magnificent, but many users have complained about the clinical feel of its menus and the slightly cramped ergonomics of its smaller bodies. Nikon is betting that a 67 megapixel monster with the best grip in the industry and superior weather ceiling will be enough to tempt even the most loyal Sony shooters to reconsider their allegiance. The competition isn't just external though. The Z7 III must also survive the civil war within Nikon's own ranks. The Z8 is a formidable opponent, 
often found on sale for around $3,500. Nikon has to be incredibly careful not to make the Z7 III so good that it kills Z8 sales, but also not so stripped down that it feels irrelevant. The strategy here seems to be one of specialization versus brute force. While the Z8 is the hammer that can do anything, the Nikon Z7 III is the scalpel. It won't have the 8K 60P internal RAW video capabilities or the massive internal cooling of the Z8, but it will likely offer better base ISO dynamic range and higher resolution for the stills first crowd. In the 2026 market, photographers are becoming more discerning. They are tired of paying for video features they never use. By leaning into the high resolution photography niche, Nikon is creating a sanctuary for the traditionalist who still believes that a photograph is a singular, captured moment of time, not just a frame pulled from a video file. To understand the Z7 III, you have to understand the philosophy, the motto, that has guided the Z series since its rocky start in 2018. Nikon's journey has been one of redemption, moving from a brand that seemed behind the curve to one that is now setting the pace for the entire industry. The Z series motto isn't written on a wall, but it is felt in every design choice. Respect the heritage, embrace the future. This is why Nikon cameras still feel like Nikons. They have a specific snick to the shutter, a specific curve to the grip that feels like it was molded to the human hand, and a color science that prioritizes natural skin tones and deep, rich greens. The Z7 III is the ultimate expression of this philosophy. It takes the DNA of the D850, widely considered the greatest DSLR ever made, and translates it into a language that a computer can understand. This motto also extends to the recent integration of RED cinema technology into the Nikon ecosystem. While the Z7 III is a stills first camera, the secret move of 2026 is the subtle inclusion of RED inspired color science and log profiles. This gives photographers who do occasionally need to shoot video a level of cinematic quality that was previously locked behind a $15,000 price tag. It's about giving the user more than they asked for without making the camera feel bloated. Nikon's commitment to Focus Point VR, a system that stabilizes the image specifically where you are focusing, is a testament to their obsession with sharpness. For the Z7 line, good enough has never been an option. The motto is about the pursuit of the extraordinary, uh, ensuring that when a photographer presses the shutter, the result isn't just a file, but a digital masterwork that can be printed four feet wide and still show the individual grains of sand on a distant beach. As we look toward the official unveiling of the Nikon Z7 III, it's clear that this isn't just another product launch. It is a statement of intent. Nikon is proving that they haven't forgotten the photographers who built their brand, the hikers, the portraitists, the dreamers, and the detail-obsessed. The secret move of the Z7 III is the realization that, in a world of fast-paced content and good-enough smartphone AI, there is still a massive, hungry market for excellence. The delay in its release wasn't a failure, it was the time required to build a camera that wouldn't just compete, but would dominate its segment for the next half-decade. What do you think? Is the wait for the Z7 III finally justified, or has the Z8 already claimed your heart? Share with us in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching.